Welcome to the Bobcad Cam CNC Editor powered by Predator Software. The new CNC Editor offers a wide variety of shop floor solutions from 2D and 3D backplotting, generating fast and accurate cycle times, creating program summaries, and even allowing you to compare NC files and so much more. If you are tired of manually editing G-code files at your CNC machine or would like to simply streamline your RS-232 communications, this is the product for you. Let's take a closer look. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the added benefit that the Predator CNC Editor upgrade has to offer. Here we can see that we have a casting that we want to drill out the holes. Now traditionally what CAD CAM systems do when they simulate is they simulate the actual tool path, not the G-code. So it's kind of relying on its post processor 100% to be correct. Let's go ahead and come in here and go to verify so we can take a look at this. Here we could see by default what Bobcat does is it creates a box or a block of material to machine the part out of. Say so we start the simulation. Here we can see what our tool is doing and see the direction and motion that it's taking so we could expect what's going to happen on the machine. This is good to simulate the part and check these things. However, the Predator Editor definitely has some better benefits to it. Let's look at this. We'll come here to the posted program. I'm going to launch the editor. Now the editor has dozens of features besides what I'm going to show you here, but this is just one of the added benefits that we're going to look at. You can see what Bobcat does by default is it adds a header to the G-code program in comment brackets. What this header does is it helps define some of the stock and some of the tools to the Predator software, which uses a reverse post to determine the motion and cut time on the machine. Let's go ahead and bring up our back plot. We'll right click then go to back plot and we'll start the back plot. Now you can see here what this is doing is in real time it's actually stepping through the code and defining all the motion based off the actual G code that's in the window. We can see here each step as well as the current cycle time that we're running on. Now, one of the added benefits to this is that we do not have to use just a block type stock. In here, you can see in this header, it uses S box, stock box, and then determines its coordinates. Let's go ahead and change this. Now, in this case, I'm going to use SSTL. I had saved the drawing out, or the drawing of the casting as an STL model called part one. Now, what this will do is it will simulate based off of the stock being the STL model that we've created. And with this, we have one thing here that comes to light that we would not see otherwise until we've already cut our part and have a mistake occur. You could see here we've drilled too far. We've actually cut into our casting. Instead of just drilling through the holes and leaving enough clearance for the tool not to collide with the part. So with that said, the editor will expose these mistakes or errors a little bit better, as well as it also gives you some great tools to make the edits or changes necessary. Now, traditionally, you'd be going back to your CAD CAM system and pretty much reprogramming this part or changing some features, then reposting the code. But anyone that's ran a CNC for a while knows that sometimes it's easier to just go through and change the code, although it can be time consuming. Now, the editor uses a reverse post processor that determines some things in here, like where tool changes occur. So, this makes it easy to come into our first tool which was where this hole was, or these holes. We'll just right click and go to select tool. You notice that it selects all the code, but only for that first tool that we had selected. Now we come in and it also has some math operations that allow the program to be treated almost parametrically. We'll come to process, then math operation. Even for a novice that does not know G code, because this uses a reverse post, this enables you to pick things in the code by their register. In this case, like access depth, we're going to say that that's plus 0.1. Now you'll see it gives a preview of what's actually going to occur in the code. Z equals Z plus 0.1. So then we'll click OK. And you'll see that the changes to every Z inside of the selected code have updated. This saves us the, any hunting through the code and maybe missing a step. 
and now we can backplot the part again. And we can see now that it's updated that all is going to cut well. It cuts all the way through as well as it also does not cut into our part. Being able to see what's going to happen to your part on the machine before it happens can save you costly mistakes. Just one or two parts finding any errors that may be in can save you time and money. The upgrade will almost immediately pay for itself. Contact Bob CADCAM today for more information on how to add this powerful and easy to use CNC editor to your shop.